I've tried over 100 jury trials in Texas. And as a result, I commonly get questions from friends and family members about something that I often hate to answer or thought I hated to answer. And that's how to get out of jury service. I hate answering this question, or I thought I did, because jury service is one of the most important things that a citizen can do. Being the filter to what is the truth is such an important function, and it's why we all believe in our justice system. But as I tried more and more cases, I came to the understanding that folks asking this question really weren't meant to be jurors and wouldn't have made good jurors anyways. So let me answer the question and explain why it's actually good that you know this answer. First and foremost, jurors have to give their undivided attention to trial meaning they can't be thinking about kids that are home, what time they've got to pick up their kids, their business, the amount of business that they're gonna lose. They really have to give their undivided attention to the testimony of the witnesses and the evidence presented in court. And if they can't do that, then they wouldn't make good jurors. And it wouldn't be fair to the parties in court if folks were giving their divided attention and only their divided attention to the matters presented in court. So if you're looking for the answer to how do I get out of jury service? There's probably a good reason. There's something else that's tugging at your time and your availability, and you're looking for a way to avoid jury service for a reason. So here's the simple answer. The best way to get out of jury service is to talk during jury selection. Generally, when you're speaking to the attorneys during jury selection, you're gonna say something that one side or the other doesn't like. And if you say something that tells one of the attorneys that you are not the best juror for that case, they're gonna take note of that. Everyone wants to be fair and impartial. Everyone wants to be able to say, hey, we'll be great filters for the evidence presented to us and we can figure out what the truth of the matter is. The reality is we all have life experiences and sometimes certain life experiences make us not the best juror for a particular case. So if I was recently injured in a car wreck, I probably wouldn't be a good juror in a car wreck case because I might be thinking about the car wreck I was just in or that a friend was in. Or if I've lost a friend or family member to someone who was driving while intoxicated, I probably wouldn't be a good juror on a DWI case. The more you talk, the more likely it is that the attorneys are going to strike you. If you tell them that you cannot be fair, if I've had that traumatic event of losing a friend or family member to a intoxicated driver and the case in front of us is potentially gonna be a DWI, as soon as I tell them that, they're gonna understand and they're gonna ask me further questions. The attorneys will say, hey, that's something that happened to you, someone you know, very close to you, is that something that you can put aside? As soon as you say you can't put that aside, that you can't consider just the evidence in the case, they have to strike you. In fact, there are different ways to strike a person. One is called a challenge for cause. A challenge for cause means legally this person cannot be on this jury. Other ways a person might get struck is what are called peremptory challenges. Peremptory challenges are simply that one of the attorneys did not like you and they can strike you for that reason. Finally, you might qualify for an exemption. So. If you have an acute childcare need, if you have non-refundable tickets where you need to leave town during what would be the middle of trial, or if there are some other reasons that you could not sit as a juror in the case, let the attorneys know that, let the judge know that. That will improve the chances that you will not be selected as a juror in that case. Court staff often joke that quiet potential jurors often become the selected jurors. And that's often true. Because if you haven't given the attorneys a reason to strike you, whether that's a challenge for cause or peremptory challenge, and if you haven't given the court a reason to excuse you, you're much more likely to become a juror. So if you're looking to avoid jury service, the best thing for you to do is to speak up when the attorneys are talking to you. So we made this video in response to questions that we got on previous YouTube videos, and we love getting those questions. We'd be happy to answer as many of them as possible. If you have a question about criminal law in Texas, 
or any federal criminal laws, drop a question below and we'll be happy to answer them for you.